Hello friends, in this video we will talk about multiple allelism. We know that for most of genetic system, for a character, there are two factors. So mostly for a single character, there are two factors. Here two factor means two alleles. For example, we are taking here height of a plant as a character, height of plant. So we know that here only two allele are there that is capital T and small t. And for all the characters that Mendel took during his study, the seven characters there were two alleles for each character but in some cases there are more than two alleles for a character in population or you can write it in group of individual so if more than two allele are present then it is called multiple allelism so in most cases there are two alleles but in some cases there are more than two allele uh, for a character and this is called multiple allelism. Example of multiple allelism is ABO blood group system. In ABO blood group system, so this is a character. So for this character, there are three alleles. I, A, this is name of allele. I B and the third one is I note. So here this is a gene and this gene is forming a product that is antigen and this antigen is present on the RBC. So, so here it is forming antigen A this this gene this gene is forming antigen B and this gene is forming no product at all. So no antigen will be on RBC carrying this allele. Uh, RBC that is homozygous for this allele. So here three alleles are there. So these three alleles are not present in a single individual. They are in population. However, in case of a individual a single person a single human there will be two alleles it may be similar or different so what can be the uh, combination of allele here for a single person it may have homozygous for allele a two allele of a it also have 1A and 1I note. A person have both B alleles, IB alleles or 1IB and another I note. A person also can have both allele that is I A and I P like this and a person can have both I note I note allele. So here the blood group of this person will be A because A antigen allele is forming A antigen 
this this person will also be a why because this is not forming any antigen so antigen a will be there so it is a recessive the cell is so blood group will be a in this case the blood group will be b here also blood group will be b because this allele is recessive but here a person having this genotype the blood group of that person will be ab why because both allele are expressing here for example this is rbc and a person with blood group a have antigen a so suppose it is a antigen a person with blood group b have antigen b on rbc like this suppose it is antigen b so if the genotype of person is this i a i b so here both allele will express themselves so here in this case a person have both the antigens like this so this is a example of codominance because both are expressing themselves if this is the genotype i not i not then there will be no antigen on rbc because it is it is not forming any product any antigen so here blood group will be o so this is multiple allelism multiple allelism means if there are more than two allele in a population not in a single person they are in a population so if we analyze the human population we will found they have three allele i a i b and i not but in a single person there are two alleles for that a b of blood group system it may be similar alleles it may be i a i a it may be i b i b it may be i not i not or it may be heterozygous in case of heterozygous it may be i a i not it may be i b i not it may be i a i b or it may be i not i not